The Schmidt and the Ulands have been very close for several years now. We would try our hardest to get them near each other, kind of float our ideas their way, but probably more realistically, physically forcing them together for a picture. So, Sarah and Brian would email each other. He says, hey Sarah, vacation was great and so was Boy Scout camp. I earned a new badge and I advanced a rank. I was wondering if you wanted to be my girlfriend. It wasn't until later in high school when they became close again, a bunch of friends surrounding them. You'd have to be oblivious to miss the spark between these two. Sarah was very giggly and absolutely glowing. These two just fit so well. You're committed to loving hard, working hard, and building that future that you guys want together. You're one of the most sincere, kind, smiley, goofy, fun, ridiculous, modest people I've ever met. And I couldn't design a better partner for my best friend. The servant of God, Brian, is betrothed to the handmaid of God, Sarah, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Aravonizete, o dulos to teu, Brian, tindulin to theu, stavrula, isonomat patros, ketu iu, ketu agiu pnevmatos. As you may know, if you know Sarah at all, she's pretty competitive and somewhat athletic. She still holds the record at Dodson Elementary for pull-ups. I don't think she ever really gave up on that relationship with Brian. I think all of us have been exposed to building things, right? Whether you've built a business, been involved in something at work, you get something off the ground, you build a house, whatever it is. In my mind, the best thing you can build is a relationship with a spouse and a family that you're responsible for. And I wish you the best. to present to you, Brian and Sarah, Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt. Bye, guy. You are the most respectful, caring, hardworking person I know, and you leave a lasting impression of every, on everyone you meet. And I know I've used the word friendship quite a bit in this speech, but you truly are a brother and I consider you family. You're an amazing son to Larry and Cindy. You're a supportive brother. And uh, most importantly, you're gonna be an incredible husband to Sarah. The way you treat Sarah is a testament to your character. And I am so excited for both of you in this next chapter of life. Sarah, you've always been like a sister to me throughout the years. One of my first times I was with you, Brian leaned over to me in the back seat and uh, said, I like her. Like, 
And I responded, yeah, I know. You tried once at middle school, but I think you got it this time. <laughs> and who knew all these years later, we'd all be sitting here today. Follow the example of your parents. Have Christ and the gospel in front of you. That's why when we went around, the priest carries the gospel because we show what the family is supposed to do. Constantly have the gospel and Christ as a model for their family. Congratulations. saw I had a hard time looking at all your faces and not getting emotional down the aisle. We love you all so much. You are our absolute support system and we couldn't be doing this without you. So thank you. If I've talked to you already, you've probably already heard me say like this just feels surreal. This doesn't feel like a real life moment. It is better than we could have ever expected it and, and we are just so grateful to have all of you all here and celebrate tonight. That which God has put together, let no man separate. It is now my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Schmidt.